Hey finders, welcome back to Fortune Finds. Today I'm going to be discussing some beauty products from JCat Beauty. Um, this is their Extreme Access Pocket Shadow. You get 12 eyeshadows for $7.99. You can buy this on jcatbeauty.com, which is where I purchased it. You can also get it at Walmart, I believe. And I'm also going to be discussing their Aqua Assurance Compact Foundation. This is a powder foundation. So I was really intrigued by this. It got pretty decent reviews online. So I was interested in trying this. I believe this retails for like $13.99. It's like $14. So, you know, kind of pricey, not that pricey, but yeah. So I'm going to walk you guys through this. I'm going to put some inserts in here. I'm going to run you through how I achieved this eye look today. I used only this palette to get this eye look and yeah, I'm just going to disclose my thoughts. We're going to talk about it. So on so forth, you know, all the stuff that we normally do here on Fortune Finds. That was the perfect lead into um, what I'm going to talk about now. Let's discuss the obvious. I am clearly not in my usual space. Um, usually it's just like a white wall behind me, but now I have finally moved in with my boyfriend and now this is like my little like beauty room. Beauty room. Yeah. Yeah. I have my own beauty room. It's awesome. I love it. I really hope that the lighting's okay and excuse like the background. I'm going to try and like make it a little cuter in here. I mean, whatever. I had like a basic white background, so we'll see what happens. And um, yeah, my cat is going to probably annoy me the entire time that I'm shooting this video because he keeps coming upstairs and meowing and I keep having to let him in. So let me go open the door a little bit to let him in so he stops crying and doesn't ruin this video. So without further ado, let's stop babbling and let's get on to the makeup video. Okay, so we're going to talk about this Extreme Access Pocket Eyeshadow. I purchased the Red Carpet Premiere. It comes with 12 shades. There are 6 matte shades and 6 shimmer shades. I'm going to tell you guys what I think about them. but. Before we get to that, let's walk through what I did with my eyes today. So to start off this look, I simply dusted the cream shadow all over the lid. The cream shadow name is Beginning. So I took the color Beginning and just lightly dusted that all over my eye using a big fluffy brush. I then went into the reddish brown color, which is called Entourage. I took that in the crease just using wiper motions, swiping it back and forth throughout the crease. This is going to help create a little bit of dimension. This is the transition shade. So yeah, that's what I did. And then after that, I went and I took the orange color, which is called Fans, and I put that a little bit lower and I put that on starting at the center of the crease. So for me, this kind of like helps make my eyes look a little bit more rounder and bigger, I find. That's just a trick that I do. Doing the same exact thing that I did with Entourage, but just keeping it a little bit lower. And I took the coppery pink shade, and that is called Formal Gown. And I took that with a flat shadow brush, and I simply dusted that all over the lid. I got a decent amount of pigment, but I wanted a little bit more of like oomph, so then I went in again to Formal Gowns, and I applied that using my finger. Then I took the cream matte shade again, which is called Beginning, and I just simply used that to highlight the brow. I wanted a little bit more like oomph to the looks and I took first debut and I simply put that with my finger on the center of my lid. I thought that was like a little bit too bold and it came out a lot more like whiter than I wanted it to. So I simply went back into formal gown on my finger and just dusted that above. And I liked how the two blended. It made it a little bit brighter and a little bit more like shimmery and gave me like that's something that I was looking for. Took the orange shade again called Fans and I put that on the lower lash line and then I simply used the purple shade which is called Hot Ticket and I just used a little fluffier brush to just smoke it out, bring it a little bit lower and give you like the smoky eye effect. So here you go. This is the look. So overall, what did I think about this palette? I don't think it's like one of those palettes where like you can get like super creative and make like a ton of looks. Like yes, there are 12 shadows, but not all 12 shadows are great. So just so you guys know, it comes in three different palettes. There is the Red Carpet Premiere, which is the one that I purchased. There's the Walk of Stardom and Pop of Paparazzi. Let's get it out of the way. Let's get the bad out of the way and then we can focus on the good, right? So I really, really liked this color. I thought it was so pretty. So I liked how it looked, but there's a hole in the pan 
because I was like literally digging my finger in here like this and look it like totally moved now there's like a big dent in it so it's really soft but there's no pigment payoff it doesn't look bad on my arm but there was no pigment when i put it on my eye like no pigment and you saw i just had to dig my finger in to just even get that so that was kind of crappy celebrity crumbled like look i just put my finger in it and it crumbled everywhere <sighs> the pigment is a little bit better but when applied to the eye, it's not great. It kind of just like fades away as you blend it. It doesn't really stay. And look, there's like chunks of glitter on my arm. Where's this paper towel? Really, really liked this purple color. This is called Hot Ticket. And I used this on the lower lash line in the video like you saw. But chalky. You can see how chalky it is. So I've done several looks using this palette. So the other, so yesterday, I was going out with my girlfriends. We went out for dinner in the city and I wanted to just do like a smoky, easy eye. I wanted to take 15 minutes. I just wanted to be in and out done. I didn't want to like do my makeup so extreme. So I went in with Hot Ticket, this purple shade right here that I just swatched for you guys. I just wanted to make the outer corner a little bit darker. And as I was blending it, it just kept like disappearing. So my two tips for when you're having a bad shadow experience and you don't want to take the eyeshadow off is just take a super, super creamy shimmer shade with your finger, just put it on your finger and then put it all over the lid. And then take a brush, once it's all over the lid, take just like a fluffy brush like this and just buff out the edges and that's it, you're done. And you can also throw a black wing on your eye. I guarantee you, it saves the day. All right, moving on to the next color. So screening, it's not bad. I would use this as like a transition shade or like all over the eye, but again, super, super chalky. Oh, glam team. Okay. So this is another shimmer shade. The pigment looks pretty good. It goes on pretty even. This wasn't a bad shadow, but again, like this applied better with the finger than it did with the brush. Do beginning. I liked this matte shade. This was what we used to highlight the brow bone. Just like a creamy off-white shade. Let's do interviews. This shade was a little bit chalky as well. See, it's like darker where you apply it and then it fans out and it's not like as pigmented. Formal gown that we use. That was a good color. This is the best shimmer shade in the palette. It goes on pretty evenly. First debut, I like this. It's a pretty white shade with just a little bit of shimmer. Oh, I didn't do fans for you guys, the orange shade. This was my favorite. Oh wow, that went on really chalky. The swatch is super chalky. You can see how chalky it is. This is an orange shade called Fans that we used in the crease of the eye. But it blends it a lot better on the eye, so I will give it that. I don't think I did Entourage yet. Entourage, chalky as well. Okay, so those are all of the colors swatched. So honestly, super chalky. They don't really blend well. I really like hate talking poorly about makeup and poorly about palettes but like I just need to be real like I'm not gonna lie and sit here and say that this is a great palette so let's have like a little story time let's have a little story time actually yeah let's just have a little story time so the first day that I tried this palette I literally took this color this color and this color and a little bit of this color it was like literally five minutes and done and I put formal gown the color that we use today, this color right here, all over the lid. I went to work and everyone at work was like, oh my God, your eye makeup looks so good. Well, the next day I used it again and it was a disaster. I noted like all the shades that I used the first day and was like, all right, well now we're gonna try different shades. No, 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 no. The other shimmer shades are awful. They like crumble, they break. The shimmers were just like falling out on my face. I just haven't had like a really great experience with this. I think there are like maybe four in here that perform pretty well or decent I should say when you look at it though there are very pretty colors like there are very pretty colors they just don't perform as pretty as they are you know I don't even I don't even know what I just said to be honest I'm very hungover I went out last night Mike and I went out in the city oof I need to like sit up oof and I had like a tequila shot that was equivalent to like three tequila shots and I am just like feeling it today so if I seem a little off I'm sorry, I'm tired. It was like honestly a struggle to like put this makeup on. I'm like not a big drinker, so like, I'm like not used to like drinking 
like that or like being this hungover. But let's move on to happier notes. I've used the Aqua Assurance Compact Foundation a few different ways. So let me tell you the few ways that I have used it. It comes in eight different shades. So it comes in an ivory. This is the natural one that I have. And there aren't a lot of shades, but I will say that like the lightest to the darkest, there's like a big difference. I hope they come out with more. That would be cool because this is like a really good powder foundation. Like full disclosure, I'm just gonna tell you off the bat, this stuff is amazing. So I got the shade natural. So ivory is the lightest and then this is the next one. This is like really dark. I went online and I can't find the ivory one anywhere. I'm not gonna be able to wear this in the winter and I wanna buy ivory. I just haven't been able to get my hands on it. I don't know why I like can't. JCAP Beauty doesn't have it on their website but they advertise it. I don't know, maybe they're sold out. I'm not sure. I need to do a little bit more research. But what I wanted to do was get a lighter shade to set my under eyes because this stuff is really good. There's cactus flower extract, which is an antioxidant property that helps maintain moisture to the skin, which is great because you need moisture with the powder. It has chamomile, which is an anti-inflammatory and helps calm the skin. And then chlorella, which improves productions of skin collagen, which helps the skin firmness and tone. How to use. It says prepare your skin with JCAT Beauty H2O Fresh Dewy Hydrating Face Primer. Just use a primer that's more hydrating because you are using a powder. And again, powder sucks the moisture out of your skin. It says swipe and blend aqua assurance with the sponge applicator. I love the packaging. I don't know what it is about this. Like I know that it's bulky, but I love that it's white and has like all of these pretty colors. I don't know. I really like it. It comes with a mirror on the inside and then you flip this up and it comes with a sponge. To be totally honest, I don't think it applies the product as well as like a velour puff does. So this is just the velour puff that comes with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. So I just took this, dipped it in and wiped it all over my face. It says for fuller coverage to damper the sponge that it comes to damper. I can't speak my brain to wet the sponge applicator first, like dampen it like you would a beauty blender and then wipe it all over the face. The best way to apply this is dry in my experience using a velour puff. The velour puff like picks up more product and like I find it evenly distributes it better and it gives you more coverage so fuller coverage and I did wet the sponge and it made it more sheer for me so and it kind of made it like blotchy it didn't apply very well it would be like darker in like this section and lighter in other sections I don't know so I will put in an insert of me using this as my full-on foundation Today I am wearing the Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation and like everything else that I'm wearing on my face, I will list it down below. Since I used a BB cream today, which is like a little bit less coverage, I was interested to see if this like packed a punch and gave me even more coverage because this is a powder. So this is good to set a liquid foundation, but it's also foundation. So you know, there's more pigment, there's more coverage and it did an awesome job. So what I did was I applied my foundation and then to set my entire face, I took this and I just dabbed it all over my face, like literally all over my face. This is a really nice foundation on its own using the Velour Puff, but I think it's really, really great for setting liquid foundation. It has that extra coverage that I'm just looking for, especially when using a BB cream. You know, just like a little bit more oomph. I think this would be really, really good for girls out there or guys out there who are a little oilier. But if you're dry, just use a hydrating primer and hydrating setting spray and you'll be good to go. I have been using this every single day. It's so good. All right, and that concludes this video. I'm a big fan of this, not such a fan of this, but hey, you win some, you lose some. What can I say? If you like this video, you guys know what to do. Leave me a big thumbs up down below. Leave me some love in the comments. Do you guys use powder foundations? If you use a powder foundation, leave a comment below. Let me know what powder foundation you use. Let me know your thoughts. And maybe like you should definitely go out and try this. And I'm curious to see how this compares to other powder foundations. So leave me some love in the comments. Let me know, like, what do you think about this? What are your thoughts? I don't know, I don't know. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to do so. I am here every Thursday. I'm a heavy review channel. Just like always trying to find the best of the best. I go out 
I try new things, then I come sit here with you guys every Thursday and disclose my findings, hence the name Fortune Finds. So be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, finders. Mwah.